Imagine San Francisco, a city already famous for innovation and tech, completely reinventing itself by 2030 with skyscrapers, waterfront neighborhoods, high-speed trains, and reclaimed islands transforming it into a global example of urban renewal. Can this become a reality? Welcome to Future Builds. Today, we're diving into five San Francisco mega projects that are set to change America's urban landscape forever. Stick around because by the end, you'll see how these mega projects come with vision, challenges, and controversy. But together, they create a blueprint for the future of American cities by 2030. We'll take you inside each mega project, exploring their vision, context, impact, and the debates surrounding them. You'll see how San Francisco's not just changing itself, but setting an example for the rest of the country. So, what five mega projects are included in this? Let's find out. Starting with Treasure Island, which is being transformed from a formal naval base into a $6 billion residential and commercial neighborhood. This project will bring thousands of new housing units, many promised at below market rates, along with parks, transit upgrades, and sustainable architecture woven throughout. By 2030, it's expected to grow into one of San Francisco's most important new communities. For years, the island's been plagued by claims of radioactive contamination from past naval activity. These concerns fueled lawsuits, environmental investigations, and persistent debates about the land's safety. Add to that the strong opposition from residents worried about displacement, plus legal challenges contesting the city's environmental reports, and the project's suddenly became far more complicated than simple redevelopment. Yet, if Treasure Island manages to rise above these hurdles, if the environmental cleanup holds, if the housing remains accessible, and if the vision actually materializes, it could become something rare. A reclaimed island transformed into one of San Francisco's most sustainable, future-ready neighborhoods. Mission Rock has become one of the city's most ambitious experiments in reimagining the waterfront. What started as 28 acres of ordinary parking lots near the Bay Bridge is now being transformed through a powerful partnership between the San Francisco Giants and Tishman Speyer. The vision? A vibrant, mixed-use neighborhood where homes, offices, shops, and open public spaces all coexist just steps from the water. Mission Rock is set to bring more than 1,200 new homes to the city, many of them dedicated to affordable housing, something San Francisco desperately needs. Surrounding them will be the office buildings, retail streets, and an impressive eight-acre public park designed to pull people toward the bay instead of away from it. But like any big transformation in San Francisco, this journey has not been spotless. Mission Rock has been shadowed by lawsuits from former property owners. Some claim they were pressured out or displaced as the vision for the site evolved. Others remain skeptical about whether the neighborhood can truly thrive, especially in an economy where attracting businesses, residents, and long-term investment has become a challenge across the city. However, if everything falls into place, if the homes fill, if the businesses take root, and if the sustainability goals are met, Mission Rock could quietly become one of America's strongest examples of human-centered, future-proof urban development. The third mega project reshaping San Francisco's future is the Caltrain modernization in the California high-speed rail. A massive leap toward a faster, cleaner, and more connected California. What makes this one so transformative is how it upgrades something people use every single day. Caltrain, which has run on diesel for decades, is finally being electrified. And the long-awaited downtown rail extension, known as the Portal, will finally pull trains straight into the Salesforce Transit Center turning that glass and steel landmark into the real Grand Central of the West Coast. Governor Gavin Newsom emphasized the significance of this project, saying, quote, High-speed rail linked to an electrified Caltrain will not just get Californians where they're going faster, it's connecting communities and driving economic growth. The completed Caltrain project is an integral part of high-speed rail and the story California's telling about clean transportation. And Californians are already seeing the results for the themselves as we electrify Caltrain, finish structures, lay track, design and build stations, and buy trains. We're making rail real in California." Unquote. 
But this project doesn't come without turbulence. The high-speed rail itself has become one of America's most debated public projects, running years behind schedule and billions beyond its original budget. Environmental lawsuits, layers of bureaucracy, and the battle over acquiring land have slowed progress again and again. Even Caltrain's electrification wasn't spared. A simple change, installing overhead wires, sparked a 19-month legal fight over visual impacts on the peninsula skyline. Despite the setbacks and the noise, the payoff waiting on the other side is undeniable. Once complete, commuters will be stepping onto quieter, cleaner, fully electric trains that cut travel time, slash emissions, and connect seamlessly with the future high-speed rail line linking the Bay Area to Central and Southern California like never before. Next up is the Transbay redevelopment, crowned by the Salesforce Transit Center, a project transforming a former terminal into a regional transportation and urban hub that's now emerging as San Francisco's second-largest megaproject. What began as a simple replacement for an aging bus terminal has expanded into a 40-acre reinvention of an entire district blending transit, housing, offices, parks, and public life into one sweeping urban makeover. Beneath the center, engineers have built a multimodal core designed to welcome Caltrain, regional buses, and high-speed rail. But do you know what? This project faced a major scandal in 2018. Just months after opening, hairline cracks appeared in two giant steel support beams, forcing an emergency shutdown. Overnight, a celebrated landmark became a cautionary tale. Investigations, blame, and costly legal battles followed, piling onto a project already strained by delays and budget overruns. For a moment, the entire dream seemed at risk. Yet, San Francisco pushed forward, repairs were completed, trust was slowly rebuilt, and the vision remained. Because if the hub ultimately links every major rail line across the Bay Area, it could transform mobility for millions, turning chaos into a long-term city-shaping payoff. Now it's time to explore San Francisco's downtown recovery plan, a bold initiative aimed at revitalizing the city's core after the pandemic and the widespread shift to remote work. The plan focuses on activating public spaces with events, markets, and street life, supporting new businesses through grants and simplified approvals, and addressing office vacancies by encouraging mixed-use development, residential plus commercial. The goal is to create a vibrant 24-7 downtown where neighborhoods feel alive, safe, and welcoming. Mark Babson, president of the Emerald Fund, said, quote, combined with the city's prior efforts to reduce impact fees and transfer taxes on conversions, we anticipate that the creation of this financing district will lead directly to the conversion of numerous downtown office buildings into much-needed housing, which will bring energy and activation to the streets of downtown San Francisco, unquote. But the real point comes right in when not everyone agrees on this. Critics argue that that the plan treats symptoms, not causes. Some say relying too heavily on the tech sector while remote work persists. Rezoning debates also raise fears of neighborhood displacement and the loss of small local businesses. Still, if this project is executed well, downtown San Francisco could once again become a hub of innovation and in urban life. But tension remain over how it'll balance growth and community. These five mega projects together represent a complete transformation of San Francisco, a revitalized urban core with downtown recovery plan, world-class transit hub at Transbay, faster, cleaner, electrified rail connecting the region, waterfront neighborhoods prioritizing sustainability at Mission Rock, innovative residential community at Treasure Island. By 2030, these projects will reshape not just the city, but how Americans think about urban life, transit, and sustainability. Undoubtedly, San Francisco showing the world how a city can reinvent itself while facing challenges, from environmental hazards to economic debates. From revitalizing the downtown core to connecting the city with high-speed rail, from sustainable waterfront neighborhoods to reclaimed islands, the message is clear. 
The future of cities is bold, complex, and interconnected. If you loved exploring these five mega projects and seeing San Francisco's 2030 transformation, subscribe to Future Builds for more deep dives into the world's most ambitious projects. And tell us in the comments which of these mega projects excite you the most. Because one thing is certain the future is being built, one block at a time right before our eyes. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our deep dive into the biggest mega projects in Australia 2025. The country is undergoing a true mega project revolution, and the scale of these developments is absolutely jaw-dropping.